The opportunity to show an unbelievable watch collection that I didn't know existed. Watches are like paintings, works of art. They have to be exhibited. 500 watches of this collection, they are all in absolutely perfect shape. Mr. Jetsad, uh, I will place him just, uh, just after the Graves and Packers uh, collectors. I had 43 cars. The emotion that I have with the watch, nothing to do in the car or in the painting. That's my, my best, my bigger emotion. Mr. Jetred has the most amazing uh, Calatrava collection in the world. Well, the Calatrava is a Greek temple and the Acropolis. It is perfect. It's not an object of fashion. It's pure beauty. For Calatrava, this is the, the top of the top. The 1579, I think, is, is, is one of the favorites. The 1579 that we have here is particularly special because it comes from the original family. For more than 40 years, the only brand who manufactured a chronograph with perpetual calendar was Patek Philippe. The dial is the face of the watch. When you look at the watch, the first thing you will see is the color of the dial, it's the beauty of the dial. Then you will see the case, and finally you will see the movement. With Patek, dial is always perfect. I'm sure the most historically important or valuable in the eyes of the community would be the reference 2523 in yellow gold with a unbelievable blue center disc in, in translucent enamel, that is definitely one that comes to my mind. You see suddenly three who have been produced, and um, it's nearly Le Bleu Klein, yeah. Klein Blue. This watch is one of the most demanded watch in the world. Patek Philippe had always in this collection beautiful animal pieces. Now the difficulty was always the same. How can you put something so beautiful like enamel on a tiny watch with like maybe 35, 36 millimeter? This is exceptional. Exceptional, exceptional. This is 2481, this one 2482, more rare. But the design here is maybe better, I don't know. Really, this is, uh, there is nothing to say. Most people don't even know of its existence. Um, we know of the Daytona, we know of the Sub, we know of the GMT, but a very short production, a complicated move and nevertheless, mm -hmm. nevertheless a sports watch that would be water resistant. I think a lot of the collectors are into these details. The Platinum Henry Graves Junior Tourbillon was the first watch that Patrick Retret acquired that came from that mythical collection. I said that this is 2020. Yeah. You cannot find better. The, the watch is new. Henry Graves is a myth. This is one of the most important watch in the world. The collection is colorful, is lively, and includes a great early generation Nautilus, as much as an extremely humble looking color Trava. Watches are works of art, and this is a fact. If you were to say, Aurel, name the five top collectors in the world, of course, I would immediately mention Patrick's collection. So here they are, here's in one room this collection, in another room this. You can pick one and have it for yourself. I could imagine trying to walk home with Patrick's collection for myself.